Grandia is one of my favorite all-time series of all time. If you don't believe me, I mean, I do have the Grandia HD collection here for the Nintendo Switch back when that came out. I played and streamed that, as well as I've got the PC versions, and also I've got the Dreamcast original, the Sega Saturn original, as well as the uh, PlayStation 2 port of Durandia 2, and uh, I've also got these. I'm kind of wondering when we're going to get uh, Grandia Extreme, and as well as Grandia 3. You know, now that I think about it, I was at Kawaii Con, I should have had, you know, <laughs> Johnny Young Bosch sign this, because he's the main character. Really, that was a missed opportunity. I should have done that. Anyways, all that being said, I'm waiting for these two. Gung Ho Games, uh, please port these two. I know people hate Grandia Extreme, but I'm, I, I like it because I like dungeon crawlers. And I don't care if the story's light. Gameplay is so good and it's addicting. Grandia 3 is really good. Anyways, we're here to talk about the Grandia HD collection that is now available on PlayStation 4 as well as on Xbox One as well as series consoles. And... Look, I already, I'm biased. If you're wondering, like, what is my thoughts on this series, uh, the TLDR is I absolutely love Grandia, especially 1 and 2. They held a very near and dear special place in my heart. And, uh, yeah, buy it, play it, support it, have it on everything. That's, that's just my thoughts. Anyways, we're going to talk about that and so much more. Big thank you to Gung Ho Entertainment for providing a review copy for PlayStation 4 as well as Xbox. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the review. So to give you guys a brief rundown of my background with Grandia, I gotta take you back in time. We gotta step into DeLorean back to 1997. With the initial installment of Grandia, that became a shared experience with my cousins and myself back in Samoa. We were engaged in the game on our Sega Saturn console, relying on one of my cousins to navigate the language barrier. And look, our enthusiasm for the game was unanimous. By 2000, after relocating to the US, I embraced Grandia 2 on the Sega Dreamcast, elevating it to the pinnacle of my all-time favorites. Not long ago, I took to streaming and critiquing the series compilations on PC as well as on Nintendo Switch and secured a physical copy of the collection for the Nintendo Switch. Now, fast forwarding to 2024, I'm thrilled to delve into the PlayStation and Xbox reissue courtesy of the team at Gung Ho Online, who graciously supplied me with review copies. Now, the Grandia series captivates me deeply, standing as a testament to the enduring appeal of classic RPGs among those who reminisce about their gaming youth. Now, regrettably, a swath of the newer gaming cohorts missed out on these gems just because they were probably born before these games ever came out. It happens, right? <laughs> you know, I'm old at this point. I'm mid-30s. I was born in the 80s. I got to grow up with the renaissance of gaming, and a lot of people got to miss out on it. But thankfully, because there's so many different ways to play games now, a lot of you can dive in and just enjoy a lot of the stuff that I grew up with and you know, you don't have to be stuck with only getting one or two games a year, if even that, right? You guys have constant sales going on, so, you know, you can always buy something and, and try it out. And definitely, if you're looking to play a really great RPG, get the Grandia HE Collection, get a physical copy, because this is going to become a very rare thing down the road. So, trust me on that. The Grandia HD Collection serves as a beacon of preservation and refinement for Grandia and Grandia 2, a testament to the collaborative prowess of Game Arts and Gong Ho Online. This effort not only allows me to revisit two of the franchise's most acclaimed titles in their finest form, but also kindles hope for future reissues of Grandia 3 and Extreme, as well as the potential debut of a Grandia 4. I mean, I keep my fingers crossed. I doubt we're going to get a Grandia 4, but if we're having such a push for Grandia Collection of 1 and 2, then probably 3 and Extreme are next, and we might be getting Grandia 4. So fingers crossed, I really want that to happen, okay? All right, so let's get back to this review. This collection comprises the saga's first two chapters. Grandia, which launched in the West in 1999 for the original PlayStation, is an RPG chronicling the journey of Justin, a youthful adventurer on a quest to decipher the secrets of an ancient civilization. Despite its straightforward narrative, the game is elevated by its charming characters, particularly Justin and Sue, whose innocence adds a layer of wonder to their quest. Grandia 2, introduced in 2001 on Sega Dreamcast, presents a more mature narrative through Ryudo, a mercenary in search of a divine weapon. While the story for Grandia 2 is richer, it somewhat lacks the original's whimsical charm. And honestly, if you're wondering if Grandia 1 and Grandia 2 have any crossover or overlap, completely different worlds, they're not tied to one another. 
I do highly recommend you start with Grandia 1 and experience that game in its entirety, then hop over to Grandia 2. Yes, I know the graphics have aged that well, but as someone who grew up with that era when 3D was new, it's fine for me. But if you're a graphic snob, then maybe it's not for you. Just go and play Grandia 1 and uh, F that. Don't, <laughs> don't skip Grandia 2. Please play Grandia 2. Just get over being a graphic snob and you're going to have a great time. Okay. The most important thing here is the narratives of Grandia and Grandia 2 are independent. Like I said, they don't tie into one another at all. So just enjoy the freedom of choosing either one as a starting point because they're both phenomenal games. Graphically, the Grandia HD collection strives to modernize the visual appeal of these two decade old titles. Applied filters smooth out edges, enhancing Grandia's sprite work and 3D environments, albeit with occasional hiccups during close up scenes. Conversely, Grandia 2's graphical overhaul is commendable, particularly with its character models, though other elements do fall short. The collection also offers dual audio, providing a choice between the original Japanese and nostalgically cheesy English dubs. The combat system in Grandia is renowned for its originality, blending turn-based mechanics with real-time elements. And now we gotta talk about the unique features of this system, which is the battle bar, which dictates the timing of actions and adds strategic depth and visual flair to encounters. Players can execute various attacks and spells with the ability to interrupt foes, adding a tactical layer to combat. The absence of random encounters allows for strategic engagements with visible enemies. Both titles share this innovative system, easing the transition between games. Now, wrapping everything up, for newcomers and veterans alike, the Grandia HD collection can invoke a deep sense of nostalgia. Grandia stands as a quintessential JRPG, its legacy enduring in the genre. While Grandia 2 may not resonate with everyone to the same extent, which is particularly due to the graphical nature of, you know, that's an early Dreamcast title and still from mid to early 3D, a lot of people are going to write it off. They shouldn't because it's a phenomenal story. Just experience it, please. The sophisticated battle system of Grandia 1 and especially Grandia 2 and the way in which Game Arts has created an absolute masterpiece make this a worthwhile experience. And with that being said, I'm going to give Grandia HD Collection, and this is a bias of mine and also nostalgia, I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. So if you have the opportunity to pick up Grandia HD Collection, please, whatever you do, pick it up, support it, because we need more Grandia. I love Final Fantasy, I love Kingdom Hearts, I love all these other RPGs that are coming out, but we gotta support these classics. Games like Grandia HD Collection, Grandia 1 and 2, Grandia Extreme, Grandia 3, the Lunar series, and even series such as, you know, the Tactics Ogre series, all that, we gotta show those love because they gotta come back. We need more variety in this space. If you're a JRPG enthusiast or just an RPG enthusiast in general, if JRPG is a term that offends you, just look, we gotta support more stuff than just the mainstream. So please go out and play these games. And again, thank you to Gung Ho Online for providing a review copy of this for modern platforms. With that being said, what do you guys think of Grandia HD Collection? Is it something you're considering picking up? Have you played them before? Are you also nostalgically biased towards it? Or are you like, who wants to play that? Whatever your thoughts are, let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section down below. And again, thank you to Gong Ho Online for providing a review copy for PlayStation 4 as well as for Xbox. And with that being said, I'm going to sign out. I hope you guys have a blessed and aloha rest of your day. Stay safe, be blessed, have aloha. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. We hope.